Now it's time to uh, put all the tools away. Because if you don't put the tools away, your father-in-law ends up getting upset. <laughs> Some people. Hey guys, today we're going to Agway. Uh, it's a couple miles down the road. We're gonna pick up some seed and some fertilizer. The plan with the seed and fertilizer to frost seed one of our hay fields uh, from last year. You're probably asking yourself, what exactly is frost seeding? Well, frost seeding is broadcasting seed on top of already existing sod or legumes or whatever, instead of drilling that into the ground. Benefits, quick. Uh, it works if as long as you use the right seed um, and you can cover a lot of area quickly some of the issues that you'll have with frost seeding is you use a lot of seed so for argument's sake we'll just keep numbers pretty even uh, if if your application rate calls for 10 pound to the acre of whatever we'll, we'll say it's clover um, you when you frost seed you want to kind of almost uh, give it a little bit more so maybe 15 pounds to the acre so you'll use more seed knowing that not all of it's going to germinate where if you drill it and it calls for 10 pounds to the acre put down 10 pounds to the acre so why do they call it frost seeding frost seeding is something where you want to broadcast seed while the soil is very cold uh, and the nights get well below freezing what that does is that causes the soil to freeze thaw freeze thaw freeze thaw and it'll pull the seed into the soil uh, you don't want the seed that we're going to be broadcasting you don't want it to go very deep the deeper like for clover for instance uh, you don't want that planted an inch or two down you want it you know half an inch uh, with this frost seeding it'll it'll be probably less than that and you'll get decent results so the hay mixture that I plan on using uh, in this video is going to be called uh, Harvest More. It's, it's what our local Agway dealer has. I could mix my own, um, but it has three of the five constituents that I want in my frost seed mix. Uh, and it's cheaper than, you know, switching to a different type of, of mix. So this mix here uh, has two different kinds of white clover. So Ladino and I believe they said all psych and uh, also medium red clover, which is really, really good for frost eating. It does have some alfalfa. It is a alfalfa is a legume, which means it's uh, it fixes nitrogen into the soil. However, uh, alfalfa is not the best seed you want for frost seeding it also has some uh some grasses in there some orchard bird's foot trefoil which is a legume uh some orchard grass some of the stuff that will not frost seed really well is timothy timothy does not frost seed really well so uh that'll be pretty much a wash and we're here so we're done at agway we're all loaded up um, the plan now is to take that home, unpackage it, and uh, get ready to do some of the spreading, hopefully tomorrow, depending on how much time we have. So the overall goal with this frost seeding of this hay field um, is to put down some fertilizer. I'm going to do 300 pounds to the acre of triple 19. I'm also going to uh, broadcast this seed at about 15 pounds to the acre, and hopefully we will get decent results. Another field uh, that was in the running for this same test project is actually gonna get switched a little bit. So my plan now for that field is to spray it with uh, Buterac or 2,4-DB is what it's called, where it will kill all broadleaf. So broadleafs are anything that aren't grasses, um, but not kill clover, not kill any kind of legume. So. That's going to be the second project for this year as well. Hopefully she stays in the bed.
backwards, normally I'm pulling out instead of backing up. So recently, I uh, also got a little tow behind spreader for the back of the side by side. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to put that thing together today. We got some below freezing temperatures in the forecast for a couple days. So if I can get that seed on pretty quickly, I'll be able to uh, frost seed a couple of those hay fields and we can follow through with that project, see if, see if it actually works or not. Well, something's not right. So I figured out what the issue was. There's a hole right here at the end of the pipe. I don't know if you can see it or not. Right there. Um, so I put the bolt through it instead of moving it up. And this was canted just a little bit and it was hitting the front. So we got it figured out. Now it's time to tighten everything back down. The bad part is I had to tear everything out because I wasn't sure if it was in the tires or what was going on. So, so the one limiting factor I see with this so far is when you're spreading, it says the max speed that you want to go when you're spreading is three miles an hour. So if you were going to seed a large yard or, in my case, two, two and a half acre hay fields, it's going to take a while. Three miles an hour is pretty slow. So uh, that's going to be testing. What's all that ruckus out here? Hi, honey. And there she be. Boy, look at that. That is nice, nice, nice. I'm excited. So we're gonna go back to this old hay field that I planned to frosty, and I wanna see if this actually will work. Now, frost seeding does work on food plots, as long as you're using the right type of seed. So follow along and I'll show you what we're gonna do.
So I'm going to try that just a little bit right now. Make sure that this works before I go spreading all the seed for no apparent reason. Lesson number one. This is not a one person ordeal. I can't tell how well I'm putting it down. I can't tell how far it's spreading. This is not a one person ordeal. So I called my brother-in-law Dave. He's gonna come down. I'm gonna have him drive, drive the side by side and then watch to see how far it's spreading and all that. So now I just gotta wait for him to get here. This was dumb. Who would have thought that you could only do this with two people? I should have known better. Here he comes to save the day. All right, guys. So I got some feedback in the past that I didn't properly introduce other characters. You can say character. <laughs> other characters in this show we call life. So this is my brother-in-law, Dave. He's gonna be the side-by-side uh, -side driver for a while, and we're gonna try to get this finished. So, let's get at it. It's, this is how well it's going. Well guys, we finished up frost seeding um, those two fields as the test fields. Um, it's going to be a while before we find out if that was, you know, worth it or not. Like I said, these were experiments to begin with. I just want to see what kind of growth I get out of them. Um, so stay tuned and hopefully sometime in June after we take off the first cut and that's that stuff will start coming up through i'm also going to try spraying 24d b on a couple other fields 24db is a broadleaf specific herbicide so it won't kill grass and it also won't kill alfalfa or clover so that's another test that we're going to try and uh hopefully we'll see if it's worth it mm -hmm. 